Good morning. Welcome. My name is James May. Welcome to English for Academic Purposes. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about subject verb agreement. Well, how many of you like grammar? Yeah? You actually like grammar? No. Some of you are like, whatever, no way. <laughs> the first day of class with Dr. May, I thought that he was a very different professor. Take your finger. Tattoo yourself. <laughs> Go tss. No, this sounds very important. Go tss. He's the kind of professor that gets your attention through the whole entire class. I'm going to say he, she, and it. You guys say tss. Got it? He, she, and it. Tss. He, she, and it. Tss. They. <laughs> the hour that you spend with Dr. May in the class seems like minutes spending in class. The class just flies and you learn a lot with him. How many of you like technology? Do any of you text? He teaches us to use our phones so we could connect with the class and we could practice our, what we were studying. As technology evolves, as thinkers we have to evolve. Search the web for what is subject verb agreement. Searching for what is subject verb agreement. I just found that over time, as students came to me more and more interested in YouTube and, and technology, I realized that it needed to be part of the show that, that we do as edutainers. We are, we're teachers, but we also need to, to keep our students interested. How many of you have a smartphone? Okay, but please take it out. We're going to use them during this class, and so I want you to have them out. Do you have a, a scanner for QR code? If you don't, go to your app store and download a free QR code scanner right now. Go ahead and do that. We're moving into a world where everything will be on demand and everything will be able to be accessed through smart devices. And so I like to use QR codes for students to download content. I like to uh, do pop surveys. And here comes your chance to test the theory. You got your smartphones out, right? where students can uh, text in their answers and they can fly up on the board through projection. I'll use my blog to share with students content that I develop or tricks that I develop for the classroom. And the great thing about that is, is that it's all free. Dr. May is an outstanding faculty member who engages his students in the use of technology and involves them in all activities. His students do extraordinarily well and Dr. May is a credit to Valencia and, and to his fellow faculty. I think that Dr. May keeps the focus of everybody in the classroom and the way he teaches his students, they really learn it. Every day at the end of class, I'm gonna ask you to take a quick survey and it's called Teach Me, Ask Me. If you learn something, I want you to teach me back what you learned. If you are confused, I want you to ask me a question because the only way I can know that you don't understand something is to ask me. 